Hi, this is Matt Bach with Puget Systems, and today we're going to be talking about how the Mac Pro compares to one of our PC workstations in After Effects 2017. Now this is actually just a summary of all of our results, and if you want to view all of our testing, we have our article linked down in the description. But before we get into it, let's talk about the hardware that's in both of these machines. On the Mac Pro side, we have the top-of-the-line Mac Pro from late 2013. It has a 12-core, 2.7 GHz processor, 64 gigs of DDR3 ECC RAM, dual AMD Fire Pro D700 video cards, a 1TB PCIe-based flash storage drive, and it's running the latest Sierra operating system. If you were to purchase this through Apple.com, the system comes in at $9,399. For our PC, we have a fairly typical After Effects workstation we sell since it gives great performance for the cost and is excellent not only for After Effects but Premiere Pro as well. It uses an 8-core Intel Core i7-6900K CPU, which is two generations newer than the CPU in the Mac Pro, and has 128 gigs of DDR4 registered ECC memory. It's worth noting that while this extra RAM can make a big difference because it allows you to store more frames in RAM preview, our testing itself doesn't really show much of a difference because that's not really something we specifically tested. So this is very much a quality of life improvement that will help your overall workflow rather than letting you export faster or anything like that. To round out the system, we have a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 video card and a 1TB Samsung 960 Pro NVMe storage drive running on Windows 10. And currently, we sell this workstation for $5,633, which is just a bit over half the price of the Mac Pro. Something that's worth pointing out is that while we only have a single drive in our PC, normally we would actually recommend using either a two or even three drive setup, separating your project files from your disk cache and media cache. But since the Mac Pro can only take a single drive, we decided to match that limitation on our PC. Uh, but with that said, let's talk about performance a little bit, starting with RAM previews. Now this is something we divided our testing into two categories, one with standard projects and one with projects that utilize a heavy amount of GPU acceleration. Now GPU acceleration is fairly new to After Effects, only being added in 2015.3, but Adobe is making a lot of effort across the majority of their software packages to utilize the GPU more heavily, so it's something that even if you don't use any of the effects that are accelerated today, it's still an important consideration for the very near future. Starting with the standard projects, there's a couple of things worth pointing out here. The first is that there's actually not much of a performance difference between Metal and OpenCL on the Mac Pro. The second is that the performance difference between our PC and the Mac Pro changes quite a bit depending on the resolution of your previews. At full resolution, we saw about 15% performance gain on PC, while at half resolution it was only 4%, and at quarter resolution it was about 8%. Now this averages out to about a 9% performance gain by using the PC over the Mac Pro. With the GPU accelerated projects, the performance was quite a bit different. Uh, in this case, the PC was about three times faster at full resolution and somewhere around five times faster at half and quarter resolution. Now this is quite extreme and not actually something we expected when we started our testing, but we did our tests multiple times and the results were very consistent that PC really is this much faster when you use heavy GPU acceleration in your projects. To help you get a feel for what this means in terms of real-world performance, here we have the Mac Pro and our PC workstation rendering the same timeline side by side. Now this is a 4K clip with Lumetri color correction applied, and at full resolution the PC is getting around 15 frames per second, while the Mac is sitting at around 5. So this means you can play through your entire timeline about three times faster on PC. Now oddly, if we turn the resolution down to half, the Mac actually gets worse. It drops down to around 4 frames per second, while the PC increases to 22 frames per second, which is pretty close to real time for this footage. And if we turn down to quarter resolution, the Mac still sits at about 4 frames per second, while the PC is now real time. We're not quite sure why the Mac Pro did so poorly on the GPU accelerated effects. It could be that there's a software bug, a driver issue, um, some hardware conflict, or it could simply be that it is what it is but we saw very consistent results between Metal and OpenCL, so we're very confident in our results. But either way, let's move on to performance when exporting or doing your final render. Just like with RAM previews, we divided our testing between standard projects and heavy GPU accelerated projects. And with our PC workstation that's about 60% the cost of the Mac Pro, we saw about a 10% performance gain with standard projects and about a 50% performance gain with the heavy GPU accelerated projects. Doing a final render shouldn't be that much different than doing the RAM previews at full resolution. So it's interesting that we only saw a 50% performance gain here, where we saw a three times performance gain during RAM previews. 
This suggests that there might be a software bug in After Effects when using GPU acceleration on the Mac Pro. The performance really shouldn't be this different between RAM previews and final export. But even if that's true, we're still seeing about a 50% performance gain on the heavy GPU accelerated projects by using a PC. The last thing we want to talk about is motion tracking, and for this we timed how long it took to track across 390 frames with both 1080p and 4K footage. Now motion tracking doesn't actually utilize the video card, so the Mac Pro with Metal and OpenCL actually performed identically. But at 1080p, the PC was about 7% faster than the Mac Pro, and at 4K it was about 22% faster. This means that overall we saw an average of about 15% performance gain with our PC versus the Mac Pro. Since the Mac Pro is four years old now and two generations behind PC, it shouldn't really be a surprise that our PC workstation is able to outperform the Mac Pro in After Effects. What we really hope to show here was exactly what kind of a performance gain you might see if you made the transition from Mac to PC. Uh, keep in mind also that there's a lot that's not shown directly in our performance testing. Uh, for example, the PC is about 60% the cost of the Mac Pro or less depending on the hardware configuration you use. It can also handle a lot more RAM than the Mac, which lets you have a lot more frames cached into the RAM preview than you could possibly do on the Mac Pro. Now to wrap up our video, we just want to mention that if you are thinking about making the transition from Mac to PC, definitely check out our After Effects workstations that are designed specifically for After Effects. We spend a lot of time and effort ensuring that we are offering only the most optimal hardware for After Effects, and we share all of our knowledge with you in the form of hardware articles. In fact, if you are considering moving to PC, we even have a fairly extensive list of frequently asked questions that we have heard from our customers over the years. And if you have any questions about our workstations and what they can do for you, and don't hesitate to contact us.